Hi everyone, I am Kelly Schaffner. Welcome to my channel. I have a bins haul to share with you. Everything I'm going to share with you today came from Phoenix, Arizona, where I paid $1.49 per pound. I have a lot of dresses in this haul, so if you like dresses, you're in for a treat. I'm gonna start with this little stack of clothing, guys. This all came out of one bag. Sometimes at the bins, you will find bags of donations. They're raw donations that never made it to the Goodwill retail store, and I suspect that is what this is. This is all the same top in a lot of different colors. So let me share with you what this is. It's kind of a mock neck. I think this is called the Essence Tank. Uh, this one is in gray. It looks like this. I'll show you the tag once because they all have the same tag. There you have it. This is Athleta. This is a size large. And this is moisture wicking fabric. These retail for, I think, $59 or $69 a piece on their website. This one's kind of in a really pretty blue color. Exact same size, same brand. This one's kind of in an eggplant purple color. Very pretty, if uh, darker colors. My favorite color, <laughs> we won't end on my favorite color, I'll share the red one. That's kind of a tomato color red. And this one is, it's not gray. This one is, what is this color, guys? This is like gray and purple, almost a lavender color. So I have all of these. I think I'm going to lot all of these together. I think they'll do much, much better if someone is looking for this specific tank. Tank tops generally have a lower average sale price, even from a good brand. Athleta is a reputable brand, but I do think that I will be able to sell these much, much better if I lot them together. So these have not been listed because even with lotting them together, I will take a picture of each top individually. So yeah, none of these are flawed. They're all in really good condition. So let me put these up and we'll get to the rack. Okay, first up, I have this really pretty floral maxi dress. And this is by the brand Lulu's. It's a size extra small. I always, you know, think twice about bringing extra small pieces home because they just move slower for me. I know some people are able to move them much quicker than I am. I'll tell you what, the more I add to my stores, the more I sell. That makes sense. But this is a true wrap dress. I do uh, keep these uh, ties always up off of the floor. I do have a dog and dog hair sometimes ends up on my clothing before I get them put away. But yeah, this is one of the dresses I picked up. And next up is a very similar dress, um, very similar in color as well. The first dress was rayon and this one is a polyester dress. This one feels a little bit more substantial. Again, it's a wrap dress and the brand is also Lulu's extra small. This one has spaghetti straps with a little ruffle right there on the collar, but almost the same thing. That uh, blush, mauve color, floral, maxi wrap dress by Lulu's. I mentioned in one of my videos that I brought home special occasion dresses. This is definitely a special occasion gown. This one is in a champagne beige color. It does have a shimmer on it. It is a satin fabrication. This is a halter style gown. It is very, very nicely made. The tag is falling off. I've thought about maybe tacking this tag back on. This is Carmen Mark Valvo. This is a size 8. It is a size 8. You can see it right there. I cannot find the title of this gown, I could also not find a stock photo, which is, it's tough. It's really tough to sell these beautiful gowns just on a hanger. You can see it just doesn't look like much on a hanger. I will pop up a picture, the picture that I am using in my listing because I did model this on my dress form, but I think this dress is so very lovely. I like this brand. Carmen Mark Valvo as well. She does have a lower end brand called Carmen, Carmen Mark Valvo, and those sell for a little bit less. You can find those pretty plentiful at TJ Maxx. I still like to sell that brand as well. I'll tell you what, if you can find Carmen Mark Valvo swimwear, definitely check the comps on it because I've had a lot of luck 
selling her swimwear in the $50 price point. This dress, I think I can probably get between $80 and $100 for the dress. Let's hope that's what I am uh, kind of shooting for. This is also kind of a special occasion cocktail dress. I should have thought this out, guys. This is a bit of a challenge. Look how pretty this dress is. This is a one-shoulder dress in pink. It is called the Raquel Crepe Cocktail Dress, and it's got such a fun hem, and you guys know how I feel about movement. This dress is Dress the Population, size extra small. I have never sold this brand before, but it does pretty well on the resale market. So I was excited, you guys. Anytime I find a brand that I hear other people talking about, I always want to give it a try. This was a challenge to photograph because it did not fit on my dress form. I had to use a modeled photo just to show how beautiful the dress is because it just doesn't look that great hanging on the hanger. I will insert a modeled photo so you can check out how pretty this dress is. This is a polyester dress and it is fully lined. One of the things I like about the lining on this dress, it is actually sewn in and yeah, it's just a beautiful dress. Excited to try this brand. I was thrifting this week with my friend Michelle and she found a Dress the Population gown and it's a little bit larger. I was so excited for her. Okay, next up, this is also a first time I have ever found this brand so I got real excited and I said, yeah, of course I'm gonna take it home. It's a little pink baby doll dress with that white Peter Pan collar. It's also smocked, the whole bodice is smocked and it does have a zipper closure in the back. If you're looking at this and thinking it looks like a sheet, that's exactly what I thought, guys. This is a cotton and spandex blend. I think all the spandex is in the smocking, but this actually feels kind of like a bed sheet. This is uh, Doll's Kill. Doll's Kill size large. It is super lightweight, so I did not look up the comps before I brought this home. When I brought it home and researched it, this is called the 11 dress Stranger Things. I don't know anything about Stranger Things, but I did use those keywords in my listing. This is a costume. The costume actually came with a pair of tube socks. I'll, I'll insert a picture for you guys so you can see. I don't know. I have listed this dress and it's receiving a lot of attention. So yeah, now I have a doll's kill piece in my Poshmark closet. All right, next up is a fun dress that I really like. It's super, super lightweight, so it can be worn very comfortably in the springtime. This dress is Dolan Left Coast. It's a size medium. It is generously sized. It's kind of a tie-dye. The color on this one is called Mossy, Moss Blue, I think, or Mossy Blue. It looks like this. This is a pop-over. Just a really pretty, very easy to wear dress. I found this dress listed as an anthropology dress. The RN does not suggest it is from anthropology, although sellers that were selling this dress knew with tags that it came from anthropology. What would you do? Let me know in the comments. Would you still put anthropology in your listing or would you just list this maxi dress as Dolan? All right, this little dress is one of my favorite brands to sell. Uh, this, it's got a nautical look to it, right? I did use the word nautical in my listing. This is like a little sailor dress without any anchors and no red, just a navy and white dress. The brand, let me get it here, <laughs> the brand is Mod Cloth, and this is a size medium. I prefer to sell Mod Cloth in the larger sizes, but I've had no trouble moving the dresses in smaller sizes, like small and medium. This dress is in really, really nice condition. It does have bra-friendly straps that are adjustable, and it has a zipper closure in the back, so I was happy about this one. And this one here is just a brand I can't leave behind in the bins. Let me know. Uh, what you would do. Would you have brought this cute little dress home? This little black dress is Theory. It's a size 6 Theory. And I'll tell you what, Theory and Vince, those are two brands that don't necessarily move quickly for me, but they're so hard to leave behind because 
the they retail for a lot and there is a market for them it just takes a while to sell them if i cannot sell them if it takes too long these are brands that the real real accept so i do send them on to the real real if they overstay their welcome here at my house next up is a linen dress this is 100 percent linen this is a really uh comfortable casual maxi dress by the brand j jill love linen size medium generously sized it does have pockets and it also has a pretty substantial slit on the side this is in really nice condition look at this uh plaid on it too i think this is the perfect springtime dress do you like to wear linen in the spring and the summer i know some people are crazy about it i think it wrinkles too much but i love to add it to my stores because people love to buy it i'm more of a cotton kind of girl in the summertime next up is sundance sundance size eight and this one i don't know if i need to prove it to you but if you look right there this one is 100% silk. It is lined with a polyester lining. This is a shift dress, and it's pretty interesting because it does have some tucks and pleats and gathers, and it also has this ribbon detail, which is not a drawstring. It's just a detail there, but this is basically a shift dress with an asymmetrical hemline, again, it's silk, so it's going to have some beautiful movement. I really like selling Sundance. Uh, you guys, I sound like a broken record. Sometimes it moves quickly and sometimes it sits for a while, but like Theory, it is a brand I, I want to rescue. I love rescuing it. I love this dress. I love so many other dresses, but this is one of the my favorites that I picked up on this trip. This one is J. Crew, and it's a size large J. Crew. And you can get in, you can get a good look at that embroidery detail. And on the top of this one, there are cutouts there. Really, really cute. Okay, let me share this with you. Is that a bee? Is that a fly? What is that little bug that is embroidered on all of this fabric? This dress is 100% cotton. The lining is cotton. It has a keyhole back with a button closure. I like this dress. This dress. I thought was fabric, like a pillow sham, pillow cover, and I was yanking on it in the bins. And imagine my surprise when I discovered this dress is Maeve. It's Maeve, it's a size 10, which is awesome. This is a one shoulder dress, and it has this black velvet ribbon on the shoulder that goes through those grommets there. This dress also has some really subtle studding on it. I'll show you right there. Yeah, you can barely see it, but it's a really pretty dress. I'm telling you, this one was a nice surprise. I love finding anthropology in the bins. It is uh, not always the quickest seller, but I'm not going to leave it behind. That's a really cute dress. This is a vintage dress. I didn't know that when I picked it up. I only discovered that when I was photographing the dress. This is a maxi length dress. It is a tie-dye and it is for a cat lover. That is who I am picturing purchasing this dress. This is almost like a little, like a puff paint. It has a little texture, the cats and the fishes. It also has a cat painted on the back of it, as well as the hemline there. Let me get in close. I think it's the back where you can see it is signed right there by Linnea 2000. And the brand on this one is Cactus Bay Apparel. This one is a size medium. And even though it's vintage, it fit my size six mannequin perfectly. It would probably fit a size eight. There are waist ties on the back of it really cute t-shirt type dress 100 percent cotton so yeah it's a little different a little quirky but i think i can sell it i was happy to add it to my closet and the pictures actually turned out really nice i think because of the color so next up was a brand uh, have a really really hard time moving so you're saying kelly why why did you do it why did you bring it home this is a silk robe and <laughs> this is always fun when you're at the bins and you find the belt the belt was still attached this is victoria's secret 
vintage gold label Victoria's Secret. It's a size small, 100% silk robe. It's in beautiful condition. I would say these are more fall type colors. It's got, it's kind of a tan color with some olives and gold and burgundy. And this is some bona fide bread and butter, guys. This is Banana Republic. Is that a puffy arm? It is a little bit of a puffy sleeve on this teal colored eyelash sweater with the gold button detail there. If you're not familiar, I will share the tag with you. Banana Republic, this is a size large Banana Republic. This feels amazing. Feels so nice. I would love to wear this sweater. In fact, maybe I will. So even though I want to focus on spring and summer as I am thrifting right now, I will bring home pieces that either I fall in love with or I feel confident that I can sell later on. Will I list this now? Absolutely, I will list this now. And I will probably end up relisting it come fall. This is a new attack sweater that I found. So the new attack had a lot to do with me bringing this home. This is a pink sweater. I think it's called the Peony Dream with a little ruffle there. This is INC International Concepts, which is a Macy's brand. It does not have the MSRP on it, which I think if you're a Macy's shopper, you know we never pay the full retail at Macy's. There's always coupons, but yeah, I saved that one. I'd love for you to weigh in on this piece. I'm going to list this piece for sale. This one is an Eileen Fisher. It's a little wonky on my hanger, isn't it? Eileen Fisher, it's a size small. It is organic linen and organic cotton blend. It's really lightweight, but it is in darker colors, like a black and white. It has this really cool button detail. I don't know, will you be able to see it? There are buttons there, button detail all the way down the back. And so what I'm curious about, is this a spring and summer piece? because it is the longer sleeves. I think maybe this is actually a four season piece, that this one could be worn year round because it is lightweight. You could wear this in the summertime if you wanted uh, full coverage and it's a size small. So this one is going to move a little bit slower because of the size, but it's Eileen Fisher at the bins. This one, guys, I might actually keep this one for myself. I got it washed up and I thought, man, I really like this. I've never tried J. Jill for myself. That This is a J. Jill piece. It's a size large. This is kind of an orange, orangey, red, heathered um, hoodie. It is a pullover hoodie. It does have a kangaroo pocket on it, a hood on it. I found a matching skirt. It was a maxi length skirt. It had to be a suit, but when I was sorting my card, I discovered that that skirt, the elastic was shot. I don't have a lot of luck selling skirts, so I didn't even consider um, replacing that elastic, which is not difficult to do. But anyway, I look at this piece and I think this is a piece I would love to work in because I do like the kangaroo pocket to tuck your phone into. And I like these comfy type of sweatshirts, but I don't know. Long story even longer, this hoodie is not listed because I haven't decided if I wanna keep it. I should list it because I probably will not wear this until maybe fall. It's about time I tried J. Jill though, because I sell a lot of it and I'm not familiar with how it wears. Next up is another top that is not listed yet, only because I found a flaw on it. This is also Eileen Fisher. This is a size large. This is merino wool. I did look it over with my best eyes at the bin. It does have a scoop neck on it, a long sleeve. It is very, very lightweight. And when I got it home and washed it, I did flat dry it. And that is when I discovered it has a few teeny tiny holes, which I'm going to stitch up. If it looks great after I mend those holes, I will sell this. If it doesn't, I will gladly keep this one for myself. Um, I am enjoying Eileen Fisher pieces only because I do find them at the thrift stores. This is not a brand that fits into my budget if I was buying it for the full price, but I can see myself wearing this one if those holes don't mend and look fabulous. 
Next up is Free People, guys. This is a tunic length. It is a high-low hemline, if you can see that there. High-low hemline, waffle knit, ribbed, um, just a casual oversized top. This is the metal bar, Free People. It's a size small. It's oversized. It would fit a larger person, a little bit smaller. And then I picked this Harley tee. This is a long sleeve Harley tee, Harley Davidson. It's kind of some muted colors. I like that look on it. it this one does have the uh, location on the back of it, Peoria, Arizona. Do you pick up the Harley gear that is labeled with different cities? Let me know in the comments. I never know. I sometimes pass on it, to be honest with you, but this t-shirt is a size large and it is in super condition. Some career wear, that's actually what I think when I see this top, how about you guys? So this is like a half zip, tab sleeve, polyester, pop over by the brand Michael Michael Kors, it's a size large, it is gray in color. It has some really substantial, the zipper pull has got a little weight to it, it's pretty nice, it does have the MK logo on it. I think this one falls into like career wear, category as well. Although it could be worn, I would wear this with denim to the thrift store myself. This is J. Crew. It's a size six. You can see it right there. This is kind of a deep red, almost like a brick red, double bell sleeve. It does have a keyhole in the back. It has three cloth covered buttons on it. Really pretty little piece, right? I picked up this little Pleone popover in a cream color. This is Pleone. It's a size large. I don't know. Just trust me on that. It is a size large. It does have a cap sleeve with a cuff on it. And this is a mixed material. The front of this is polyester and the back of this is a soft brushed knit. I don't pick up a lot of Pleone, but right before I left to the bins, I sold a Pleone tank top. So I thought when I saw this one and it was in great shape, why not try it again? Next up is a top that my husband found. So I'm gonna give him credit. You guys, he also found the Sundance dress. So I do have to give him credit because he was able to find some pretty good things. My husband does not. He's not very familiar with labels at all. So he just filled his cart with items he thought I might want to sell. And then when they were rotating bins, I went through his cart, I went through my cart, and he did pretty good. He found several pieces that I did bring home to sell. This one is a Torrid, it's a good size too. Let me look and remind myself. This one is a size four Torrid crochet lace on the sleeves and at the shoulders, also on the back and this is a high-low top, just a very lightweight, almost like a burnout fabric on it, but yeah, in really nice condition. And I found this one. My husband's trying to take credit for all of the florals in this haul, but this was a really fun find. First time I have found this brand. This is Farm. This is for Anthropology. It's a size extra large. So Farm Rio at the bins, I will take it. This is perfect for the season. Does this have an Aloha vibe to it? I would say it does. Again, it's like that uh, Lulu's dress. It's got the little uh, ruffle on the shoulder there on a spaghetti strap, and it's got this really pretty crochet lace there. The cloth covered buttons, so many things to love about this little top. My favorite thing is the size. I picked up this top because I love this top. I can't wear this top now, but in my younger days, I would have worn this little tank top or it's almost like a camisole top. I just think it's so pretty. Let me get in close so you can see all the beadwork on it. Very, very pretty. The back of it has the keyhole with the cloth covered buttons. The brand on this one is BKE. Can you see it right there? BKE. And this one is a size small as well. It is fully lined and it has some really pretty lace detail on the bottom of it, which I'm not showing very well, but trust me, it really is a cute top. So I don't pick up a whole lot of tank tops because the return is pretty low, but sometimes I just want to rescue something because I think it's so super cute, like this one. This sweatshirt isn't steamed. I did pick this up at the bins. I'll tell you why it's not steamed. It was steamed. It was cleaned and steamed and hanging on my rack, and I decided to let my mom wear it, and she loved it. This is a three-quarter sleeve, longer length, like a tunic 
eggplant colored sweatshirt with a kangaroo pocket on it. This one is soft surroundings. It's a size medium. It was a little oversized on my mother. Yes, my mother wore this for a day. She really enjoyed it. So it has been laundered twice. And I think this is going to be a mama piece. Like I said, it was a little bit oversized on my mother, but she loves those kangaroo pockets. She's got a lot of stuff to put in her pockets. This is the final piece of the haul, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I love you for that. You guys are awesome. Um, I'm gonna share the back of this t-shirt. This tee is actually a great segue into my very next video. So this tee opens up and we have that animal print peeking through it, but wait for it. Look at the front of this graphic tee. I'll get in close so you can see the graphic. Look at all those shoes. All of those fabulous shoes and they all have a little crystal on them. This is so much fun for me. I would definitely wear this tee. This is Style & Co. It's a size 3X. This is a Macy's brand. It is like new. I know the girl that is going to wear this tee. She and I are kindred spirits. This tee is in great condition. And like I said, it's a super segue into my next video, which is going to feature every single pair of shoes I picked up at the bins and had a pretty good day at the bins where shoes are concerned, which was so much fun for me. So if you want to see all the shoes I got, please make sure that you are subscribed. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Blessings.